Hi, I'm Misty. Um, this is the order of service for noonday, the prayer. Um, I'm running a few minutes late. I was on a, a really good call and lost track of time. So anyway, uh, page 103 from the Book of Common Prayer. Thank you for joining, Amanda. All right. Um, and if you have any prayer requests, please list them, and I will be happy to put them in the free intercessions. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 119. I am not going to do the Latin like Frank did last week. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Psalm 121. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who watches over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Psalm 126. In when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Romans 5.5. 5. Thanks be to God. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. God, I thank you for the Epiphany community, for the technology that brings us together. But most of all, God, I thank you for your presence. You are so faithful and you're always there. And I thank you for the gentle ways that you bring us back to remind us of that presence. Thank you for those that are gathered together virtually in this moment, praying. God, I lift up our community. I am thankful for our leadership at Epiphany and for the larger church, both with our bishop and um, the Bishop of the United States. God, I lift up your, your church universal, the Catholic Church. I thank you, God, for the church, and I just pray that you are Holy Presence can be with all the leaders of all the respective churches in the world. God, that you would just 
pour out into them wisdom during these difficult times as they um, lead the people who listen to them on a regular basis, God. Lord, you have done amazing things in our hearts. I'm so thankful for that and the provision that you give us on a regular basis, just like in the Lord's Prayer when we ask for daily bread. God, I pray that we not become dull to that or forget the incredible and beautiful provision that you provide us daily. Thank you, God, for sustaining our hearts and for helping us to turn our wills so that they align with yours. God, please be with the schools that are getting ready to take in-person students. Um, I especially lift up Mendenhall Elementary, Jana, the principal, and all of the teachers there. God, I lift up the students that are preparing to go. I pray for safety and for wisdom, and God, just for comfort and uh, for anxieties to be eased. You are the great provider and the great physician. And God, we know that we can trust you. Thank you, Father. Lord, keep us safe and keep us wise so that we can make the best decisions for our families. Um, give us discernment and wisdom as we turn to you in prayer. God, I also lift up to you all the frontline workers, uh, those who are in hospitals and in nursing homes and essential workers, God. I pray, Lord, for, um, I pray for Adrian and Jack and Hunter and Hudson, lifting up also Maria and Frank and Sid and Kathy and Mom Key. Um, I love you, Lord. In your name I pray, amen. Oh, I think I jumped ahead. I did not read one of the collects, sorry. <laughs> so I'll do that now. Um, I'm gonna read the first one. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us in all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Um, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful Friday and holiday weekend. Um, I'll be joining everyone who tunes in to Sunday morning. And um, just thank you guys for being around. All right. God bless. Bye.